Okay, we are back. We are back. We are back. We are back. I don't know if you can see me, but I'm going to have to do this the old-fashioned way, the hard way, the way that we're going to do it. So, you see here, we've got grains. Can everybody hear me? Please tell me you can hear me. Uh, these are the grains that we're going to be using. Um, roughly 31 pounds of grain for seven gallons. This is so that we can um, convert this into sugars. What I've done is I've got the strike temperature, like I said, up to 162 degrees. I'm gonna turn off my pump for a second. I'm gonna turn off the temperature for a second. I'm gonna close this down so I can put my grains in. Um, hopefully you can hear me. Can you hear me? Please tell me you can hear me. Um, I'm guessing you can hear me. All right, so step two. With the Blickman system, I'm really lucky because it does circulate over time. It's really nice. Uh, I'm gonna take my mash paddle, stick it in here. It's usually nice to have a second guy. Justin will be here soon. I don't know where Ronnie is. I don't know where Alan is. I don't know where Albert is. I don't know where Alex is. I'm just saying, and I don't know where Andy is. They all said they were gonna be here today to brew with me. Guess what? They're not. That's right, you're not here. Can you hear me? Please say you can hear me. Um, okay. Really don't know what's going on in the Facebook Live. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour my grains in. I'm gonna pour them in slowly. And the reason why I pour them in slowly is because I wanna get all these grains wet. So here we go, pour in a little bit, stir, make sure they get wet so we can convert all the sugars, pour in a little bit more, stir, 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 stir. So we are making a barley wine, and there's a lot of uh, American-style barley wines that you probably know. Uh, Sierra Nevada's Bigfoot, a great example of an American-style barley wine. Um, Brown Sugar by Lagunitas, an amazing barley wine. Uh, Parabola by Firestone Walker, an amazing barley wine. There's a lot of them out there. I would suggest you uh, find some that you like. I'm gonna step behind the camera and make sure that everybody's still with me. Uh, I don't see any comments, so I guess that's a good thing. All right, even more grains. And this recipe is available here at Schoolhouse. Do not hesitate to ask for it. Oh, wow. I might need to turn that pump on just a little bit to get some more water in here. Hopefully it doesn't shoot me in the face and scold me. Brewing can be dangerous, guys. Do not think it is not. There's a lot of stories about brewers getting hurt. Um, safety is an issue. Usually in commercial brewing, we suggest you wear safety goggles because anything can splash up into your eyes. I don't have Mr. Osha here. He'll be here very soon. That would be Justin Waller. Um, he will be here really soon, hopefully. No comments. No comments, good comments. Um, Okay, so I am starting the mash. Look at that, found a little chunk. Don't want that chunk in there, found another one. Let me show you why you want to look for chunks. You see right here, you can't see that. 
it's dry in the middle. And when it's dry in the middle, you're not getting any conversion. Okay, got another chunk. Okay, don't want chunks. I don't know why there's so many chunks today. But, I got Chunks will also reduce your efficiency. We'll talk about efficiency in a little bit. And efficiency is all about how much sugar you convert. There we go. All right. Another chunk right there. Little floaters. Boy, that's hot. A lot of these today. Mm. Looking good, looking good, looking good. Okay, I'm gonna add the last, hopefully the last bit. Wow, that's a lot of. <coughs> oh. That is a lot of grain. So let me show you how much grain we've got going on here. Let's see here. We've got, that is a lot of grain. Once again, coming from the top, we are making this barley wine. Okay, we're going to come from this angle now. Make sure I can stay in camera. Yeah, this is a lot easier when you have uh, multiple people to help you. <coughs> oh, man. So, just making sure we have no little floaters. That's the, the grains that are not wet. Nice and chunked. Hopefully I can get all this going. I'm going to start that pump again, get a little bit more water up here, and then make the grain bed that I want. See how clear that water is? That water is going to change really quickly. Got the barley wine going. Um, if you've got any questions, I will address them between. Please don't hesitate to ask. Please don't hesitate to ask. <coughs> I know I said I was going to do a stout last night, but uh, it kind of changed my mind. Um, been playing with this barley wine recipe. The base is Maris Otter, so it's going to be nice and biscuity. Um, I've got Caramel 90 in it for color and that raisiny flavor. And I've got melanoidin for head retention, and um, it's a nice red malt. Give it that ruby color red that a lot of the barley wines have. I'm a big fan of that. Um, not a huge fan of American style barley wines myself. They're a little hoppy, um, especially when you've got, you know, this is gonna be close to 12%. Um, and I'm going to barrel age this, and we're going to talk about some adjuncts in a little bit. Once again, if you come across any adjuncts you want me to put in here, <coughs> use your suggestions. I'm thinking, um, I'm actually thinking about putting golden raisins in it. Actually, that would be really good. Some golden raisins, because this is going to be a nice raisin -y. I'm going to cheat a little bit, I guess, but, all right, I think, I think, I think, everything is wet. All right, so we are mashed in. We're going to mash for approximately an hour. Um, that is the, the length that we're going to go for to convert the, the sugar. So what's going on here is the water 
is uh, inside the grain is called endosperm, and that is a nice starch. We're going to turn that starch into a carbohydrate by steeping it. The carbohydrates are going to be um, complex carbohydrates right now. So real long stems of sugar. And then later on in the process, we're going to boil, and that boiling breaks those car uh, complex carbohydrates down to uh, simpler sugars, and we'll talk about that when we get into the boil. Um, so <coughs> we'll see you in just a little bit.